okay, when, when, when you are on the right path, God will augment that. God will give you, will give you assurance that you are doing things okay. You are doing things the right way. Okay? So, I want to go back to these, to these uh, super primes. Okay? And, um, let's see here. Go ahead and open a new uh, Word file. Okay. All right. So what I want to do is I want to, to go ahead and uh, uh, look at this number. This number is. 1297. Okay. 1297 happens to be a super prime. Super prime. It's a super prime. That means that this index also is a is a prime number. But this super prime, this index happens to be 47. We immediately notice that 1297 are the same digits as is used in 9127. So this is the second permutation of 1279, and it happens to be the 47th. And the 19th permutation is actually 9127. Okay, 9127. And this happens to be the 19th permutation. Okay. So if you if you if you look at this, 19th permutation, okay? If you look at chapter 47 in the Quran, you find out it's called Muhammad, okay? So, so this number, 1297, as I said, happens to be the 47th, um, directly, directly actually connects Muhammad to 9127. But now there is more. So how do we know that? We, we've known this for a long time, that Permutation of, of one two nine, one two seven nine generates twenty four uh, distinct numbers, four digit numbers. Permutation of those numbers, and the nineteen such permutations is nine one two seven. We've known this for a long time. Okay, so so this this as I said this forty seven super prime. We notice that one plus two plus nine plus seven is nineteen. So it also is an additive prime, okay? And so if we go and check the table of additive primes, okay? And so let me go ahead and see if I have uh, something open here. Uh, no, I don't. If I go and look at... Look at additive primes. Additive... Primes, and then I go right here, the list of additive primes, and then I go to um, 1297, 1297 is right here, and I find out that 1297 is the 114th additive prime, okay? As I said, I did not write this program. Somebody else did. It's available to everybody. Okay. There are no tricks here. So what it's telling you that 9127 is essentially happens to be confirming that Quran has 114 verses and this God is talking about the Quran. And who was the recipient of the Quran was Muhammad, and that's why chapter 47 is called Muhammad. Okay? So the Quran that was revealed to Muhammad, chapter 9 has 127 verses. This is another view that God is showing us by which he actually reassures us that we are doing things all right. Okay? This comes from religion. It's a slumber that he sends upon us. 
to calm our, our innermost uh, and and to to give us to give us good news that that everything that we are doing is the right way to do it. Okay, can you imagine this? I mean, can you? I mean, I, I'm. I've known about 1297 for a long time, but I didn't know. I never checked it this way. I never checked it this way until the super primes came to be. Okay. So there are tons of these things that I want to talk about right now. It's just going to be overwhelming. Okay. But but I'm going to stop here and just just allow you to to digest this 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 thing this this whole uh, mathematical relation that I just showed you, okay? So key key numbers are coming out, key numbers, okay? Forty-seven, the name of the chapter, okay? The recipient of the of the Quran, the one that Quran was revealed to him. Okay, then he spread it to, to, to everybody. The number of surahs that was revealed, 114, and chapter 9 is having 127 verses. Okay. So, he keeps, keeps wiping this, this little bit of doubt that we have about this away from our hearts. And we may still have doubts. He's telling us, don't have any doubts. Be resolute. Go forward. And that's why he gives us the slumber that we have. And, and, and this enlighten us with this, with this huge sign. Okay. This is like today, the Red Sea parted, basically. Okay, this is how important this is. Because what this does actually, it says that actually Red Sea parted. Because that can be, can be fiction. This Quran cannot be fiction. It cannot be untrue. It is the truth. So it says, uh, we read it, okay? And it says that, bring one surah like this. Okay? Bring one surah like it. If you're truthful. They can't. Okay, that's the that's the magnitude of the of the sign that we're dealing with. Okay, because as I said, if we have doubts about if the Red Sea parted, we won't have any doubts, because he keeps sending us these signs one after another, and strengthen our hearts, and gives us assurances that look, this is the way to do it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here and we'll finish our Juma Allahu Kabir.